Hey everybody, it's BC here. Welcome to another episode of Dyson Sphere Program. And we've got a bit of a logistical nightmare ahead of us today. Uh, I am currently researching interplanetary logistics right now. Uh, we've got to start getting some production going. That also means that we're going to get start bringing stuff in from other planets to make it work. Uh, I have been trying to figure out this whole mess of what, what I'm going to be doing, how I'm going to be doing all these things. Uh, currently, I am... Uh, I do have the photon frequency conversion unlocked. Uh, we actually need these for the solar sails. I've been looking into this to make sure that I'm sort of planning ahead this time. Uh, the solar sails, we need graphene and we need the, the photon conversions. Or photon combiners. Now, photon combiners is actually fairly easy. It's just glass and circuits. Uh, the, the graphene has to be has to be made on this planet because we I need the water to make the sulfuric acid unless I find a planet that's got sulfuric acid but I'm not even at that point of leaving this system yet so I'm going to work with what I've got here so I've got the interplanetary planetary logistics going for that now I do have thermal geothermal extraction going so because I want to uh, start taking advantage of uh, Lysith 1 because it has a lot of iron and iron and copper there and I want to start mass producing a bunch of stuff uh, we are currently almost done some research. Uh, I was having some problems with the research too. Interstellar logistics. Uh, I was having some issues with the, the research. It wasn't keeping up because these weren't producing enough to keep up with this. So I put some more on here and sure enough that worked. And then it was starting to slow down here. And so I added a few more on top of here. And it seems to be sort of holding up a little better. But uh, yeah, I was getting a little confused because uh, I'd go to each one. It would say that it would only be was producing one. It was saying only certain per minute or whatever. I didn't realize it was actually outputting them all at the same time at the bottom. So that is that. So now we have interplanetary logistics. I currently have the geothermal extraction next. And then I got a drive engine, inventory capacity and for the the mech and veins utilization so i have a hundred miners hundred smelters a whole bunch of conveyors some splitters and some containers on me and now i do have to make a few things i gotta make uh, a few of these actually oh there's a fly buzzing around if you hear that now do i have everything i need to make that no i need these all right. Now, as far as uh, the auto the auto production, uh, I think I can actually get everything here more or less mass produced. I can get because it's all just iron and copper all the way around. Uh, these are actually just iron ore. The only thing I can't do is like the graphite because the, I don't I, there isn't much coal. I don't think there is any coal out there. Uh, but so yeah, that was sort of my plan. Uh, I guess some assemblers would help on that. Uh, speaking of assemblers, oh yeah, let's uh, do that now. Uh, after the last episode, I do have them somewhere in one of the containers over here in my uh, random box of mystery. I should have. There they are. 50 Mark II assemblers. So let's go ahead and start upgrading some stuff and see how this works. Oh, come on, upgrade. That seems to be working. Oh, that's not what I want to do. And uh, now, where do I need this the most? Trying to think what would need the the upgrades the most. Oh, this one definitely needs an upgrade. Uh, I actually want to start getting those being done as well. Uh, combining, getting that information, eight information matrix going. That's the purple ones, and the purple ones just use the processors which are being over made over here, and over and the the particle broadbands, and they got all tie into this mess over here somewhere. How would I even do that? No, we're not at that point yet, so we'll worry about that later. Is there anything else I need before I go? Just to make some geothermal plants. Uh, which... Oh, they're still going. So, I'll get those plants ready and I'll uh, meet you at the... At Lyseth 1. Okay, well, I'm still waiting on the geothermal uh, extraction to continue, so I thought maybe we'll get the sulfuric gas going. Uh, paid a little area here so we can work on here. Uh, let's see. Hmm. It's always easier to do this from, from straight from my inventory, but anyway, I do have everything ready. ready. Uh, let's go ahead and throw a water pump down. Uh, I have checked the, the metrics, and one water pump should be able to keep everything going. One water pump into... Where is it here? 
to one chemical plant. Oh, that's not a water chemical plant. Uh, that's a chemical plant. Chemical facility. Uh, with that, should produce enough acid to keep two of these going for neoprene. Actually, do I want to ro rotate these? Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, that's what I'm trying to do with this one. Is I'm getting, well, not neoprene, graphene. Graphene is a uh, one acid and three. Oh, yeah, I gotta smelt that too. Uh, into three graphite to make the two graphene. Uh, anyway, let me get this set up off camera and I'll bring you back. Okay, I think I'm ready here. Uh, I have been noticing some power outages, so we might have to try to see if we can get another uh, uh, polar farm going. Uh, but I am ready to go. I just gotta connect the power to everything here. Uh, the stone, uh, all I can find over here is that is that I've got to actually need the stone to wait I didn't make it sulfuric acid uh, okay what else needs power over here and I did over also sap and uh, tap into another oil seep here and that should get everything going oh I missed this one over here too and and like I said I think I have all the solar panels left over from before I should be able to Okay, I'm going. Uh, research has been chatted along. I don't think anything's been complete except for the geothermal, which is that. Uh, and it's actually not exactly super expensive to make, but we could probably do that eventually. Okay, you're going. You're going. Uh, you are pumping water. You are waiting on the crude oil, which you be coming out. Oh, I gotta make this. Uh, there we go. Actually. There's one thing I've got to do. I have to put another filter on this side and actually set a, or a sorter and set a filter on it. Let's hope I can. Okay, good. Set to hydrogen. It only pulls out hydrogen because I got the refined oil coming on this side because I don't need backlog. Uh, this is going to produce extra hydrogen for me, so hopefully that's going to work out good. And. Oh, yes. This one little spot there. There we go. Alright, so I've got the graphene automatically being produced. And the graphene was... What was the graphene going into? I don't remember what I was doing this for. It wasn't that. It was... Uh, hmm. No, it wasn't that. Give me a minute to try to figure out what I was doing. Aha, the solar sails, yes. The solar sails, and I was going to get these produced, but these are going to be produced off planet. So that is that. what I have here for now. Uh, as far as the stone, the stone isn't holding up too, too well here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the smart thing. I do have, I don't know why I bring up the craft uh, replicator menu when I can hit E, but I do have one of these here. Now I have the stone coming into here, so I'm going to set that up. Now I already do have the drones set up over the other end. Uh, let's see here, let's set to, see if I can set this side here. Do I actually have to be at the very bottom? Does it have to be powered? Or does it have to have a conveyor set up to it? I'm not exactly sure. Do that, and then we'll... Oh, yeah, that's right. We go right from there. Where was that? Uh, I remember I just looked up at it and it gave it to me. Maybe it's because it's not powered. Or probably because it's got nothing in it. Uh, I do need some drones in there. I do have... I actually do have a whole stack of drones over here. Alright, uh, so I'm going to go grab these drones and head up to the other, uh, the other place, which is on the other side of the planet. I'll bring you back when it's all rolling and moving. Okay, so what I've done is I've actually gone to the other side of the planet over to where I had the silicon production. I just take the, taking the silicon, just putting it right in, or taking the stone and putting it right into, into the logistics system. Uh, it should get some stuff in it pretty soon. I think what I do is 
Oh, this is speculation. If I go back to the other one, and let my finish fi let my drones finish building the conveyor before I take off. That's always a smart thing. And then we go over here. I placed uh, 13 drones I have in here. Uh, I gotta fill up my hydrogen pretty quick. And then we go here. We'll set stone and set that to demand. Now, in theory. In theory, this shit is actually supposed to be able to take it from the other end. I might have to go sit there side to supply as well. I don't know why I'm not getting the, the filter on here. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna try to put, put a conveyor down, uh, put a container down here, and see if maybe it's gonna bring it over if I go side to supply at the other end. Oh, now the filter icon's showing up. So, oh, it already has stone in here already. Oh, it does not. Okay. Well, either way, I'll go ahead and set that to stone coming out that side. Now, I guess... I don't know why they're not supplying it. Or why they're not bringing it. So let me go check the other station. What do you know? That was it. As soon as I set this to supply, they took off. Uh, I'm wondering if the other guys are going to come back. Also, I learned... Oh, here they come. Sweet. I also learned you can go up higher and fly faster, but uh, I haven't figured out how to stop from crashing down. Alright, so this is going to be bringing in the stone. In transit, 365. Nice. See how fast it goes in. I don't know how much you actually carry. It doesn't seem to say. I don't carry capacity 25. Alright, well, that's not too bad, so this should keep this going for now. Uh, let's see what we have here. Uh, lack of power, that's what we have. Just like everything else around here. Uh, I was looking around for the solar panels. I did happen to find them. They were in another storage box. So I want to see if I can get this other polar grid set up. And I want to head to the north. And... I believe this is it. Yes, it is. I need to pave the whole area. Hmm. I'm not going to have this kind of dirt... Uh, oh, actually, it's right here. See if I have enough for this. I don't think there's any other way to get dirt other than doing this, and I'm out. I go level some trees over here, and gather some more dirt, like so. Now, hopefully this blueprint will work perfectly. Alright, blueprints. Uh, let's get rid of that, and it was the polar farm. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Oh yeah, uh, double click. Hey. It worked. 
drones definitely need an upgrade. Making that funny noise every time. Alright, well, let me get this connected to the grid and then I'm gonna start getting some stuff. But I figure what's going on with that research too. Uh, I'll be back. Alright, there we go. We are now producing double what I was, which was exactly what I needed. I even got a milestone for that. Been 1,000 megawatts. And another achievement. Alright, well, let's uh, see how this is all doing here. Uh, need more drones. And why are you guys... Oh, you guys are actually in flight right now. So, I might actually get some more drones in here. How much do they cost? Processors. Alright, well, uh, let me head back and see what's going on with the research and we'll go on. Okay, I'm back. So, uh, as far as the research goes, that's a titanium issue, which we're going to deal with pretty quick here. I could probably even get that addressed right now if I can find some inventory space. It's always, this, always an, an issue. But so, so far, we were going pretty good. I had to get up a second refinery because I wasn't getting enough refined oil going into here to uh, keep the sulfuric acid running. So, these are running better, but it doesn't really too matter, matter too much. Uh, as far as the research goes, yeah, like I said, it was a titanium. So I'm going to take some of this out for now. And then uh, what it was is I was putting the titanium in here. And it, not only was it feeding this assembler, but it was going down and feeding the particle broadbands as well. So, uh, yeah, that was uh, causing a bit, a bit of an issue. Uh, let's just go ahead and stick all that in there for now. And then hopefully it doesn't take it all out. What I should do is put that on a splitter. Because it won't put in here unless it's absolutely full. But that's fine. Anyway, uh, we do have the option to start bringing that other titanium in. Now, what do I need for this? I need a lot of stuff. I need titanium. I've got a whole container of it. And more titanium. So let me get all this stuff together and I'll be back. Okay, well, there is actually something I overlooked. I am going to need this titanium alloy, which I need titanium, steel, and sulfuric acid in a smelting factory. So that means I need to make more, more, more sulfuric acid. Uh, I've got the stone behind me coming in. We've got a, quite a bit of a surplus. I do have refined oil over here I can use. And I'm sure I've got water somewhere on this planet. So let me get that set up, and then uh, i got to make that in a smelting factory, and I will see you then. Uh, also, the, the drones, you need a lot of them too, so that's something I gotta look forward to as well. So, yeah, I'll be back. Okay, everything is all set up, all ready to go. All I have to do is set the recipe in the proper machine. Okay, now uh, let's try this again, shall we? Yes, the proper machine. That is gonna make us a titanium alloys. Hopefully. Would also help if I brought the proper <laughs> proper resource over. I just realized I'm trying to bring iron over, not steel. So I do have to get that taken care of. Let's uh, get rid of that before they bring it over. Yeah, I brought over iron when I it was a steel I needed. I was actually worried about the iron production. So let me get this all set up, and I'll bring you back when we're making titanium alloys. Okay, I have everything being crafted right now. I've got so far. I've got ten drones being crafted. I've got the second station being built as it is. And what I think we'll do while we're waiting is we're going to go head up to Lyseth 3 and, or not Lyseth 3, uh, Lyseth 1 and get started getting some production going. Do have everything already set up. Uh, I was also trying to figure out like how the flight actually works. Like uh, how it was knowing which way for me to go depending on how the controls were. And I, apparently it all has to do with the way my mouse is actually facing. But anyways, I uh, do have to... Make sure I got fuel. Last time I did this. Oh, hang on. Uh, aha. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna stop at home first to go get some hydrogen. I actually got the achievement for space junk. I completely ran out of fuel, I completely ran out of energy, and I was slowly flying my way back to Lyseth 4 here at a whopping 140 meters a second. And it took ages. Anyway, uh, let me pick up some fuel and I'll meet you at the lava plant. Okay, here we are. Now let's hope I don't land in lava. I don't know if that actually will damage me, but... And... I'll land right here. 
All right, now what do we have here? Oh, yeah, I want to be as close to as much of the copper and iron as possible. So I want to see where I find a good areas. I know there was a good spot that was uh, flat for production. This looks like a nice area here. A whole bunch of copper, a whole bunch of iron. Now, where is that in relation to me? This side of the planet. All right, let's see if we can, if we can get up into high atmospheric flight. And uh, this should do it. And did I bring any foundations on me? I did not. Well, I'm hoping I can build here. Let me, uh, let's find out. Need resources. Oh. I don't know why it needs resources. Not building resources, mining resources. Okay, so can I, I can actually build it here. Alright, well, let me, uh, I don't know how I want to do this. But what I want to do for automation is... Ideally, I want to get the electromagnetic turbines and the circuits. And let me see what else I can come up with and I'll bring you back when I'm done. Okay, I am finally done. It's been quite a bit, quite a bit of work, but I have everything all basically automated right now. I've got uh, straight up copper going into this container here. These are doing copper, these are doing the, the rings, which are going to be making the circuit, or, or iron and copper making circuits. That got doubled up into the container there. And then we go down here, and then we got more copper, and then we got the ash being turned into the rings, and this is actually making the magnetic rings. So that's going to be just that. And then we go down here, and then down over here, I've got uh, these two miners doing straight up iron, which goes down here, which gets split up, goes into this machine, which goes to make the motors. Uh, these, uh, this iron here is being split up, one going into the rings, one going into the being smelted, then going to gears, which uh, the gears gets processed over there, same with the ingots, to make the motors. Then the motors come out of here, they get split off to keep half and send half over processing to make, uh, uh, what are these things called again? Electromagnetic turbines. So that is everything on this planet. Now it's about ready to go uh, place my power down, and then it's like, oh no, I don't have it. Don't have the items that I remembered. Oh yeah, not an inventory space. Actually, I thought I had them on me. Oh, maybe I still have to craft them. I guess so. Oh yeah, I must have canceled them to do something else. Anyway, uh, let me get all this wired up, and then I'll be right back. Oh yeah, I believe that's everything all connected. So now, I can only make six. What am I missing here? I'm not telling you what I'm missing. Lack of material. Oh, the steel. Yes. Oh yeah, that was the other one I wanted to get going too, is the steel. Yeah, anyway, let's get our power plants down for now and see how this holds up. Oh, okay, so you uh, just submerge it right out there. Collide with other objects. Ah, so it's like the turbines, you have to be a certain distance apart. I gotcha. Need to be built on lava. I thought this was like a shoreline thing, like a water pump. And lack of item. And we are producing. I don't know if we're produ producing enough. Come on, where's that Tesla tower? Uh, not, not too bad. I don't think everything's connected though. Let's uh, do a quick flyby. See what's going on. Oh, what's going on here? Aha. It always helps to make sure everything's running smoothly. Yeah, that's, I was wondering why it's go going so slow, and then I realized, oh yeah, it's been actually being processed. All right, that's going through. Uh, what do we got going on here? Uh, I think I've got the iron, didn't I? Aha. Yes, I did. 
Oh. No, don't go back in there. Come on, don't be stupid. Don't need an infinite loop here. And there we go. Alright, that should get that going. I have magnetic coils coming down the line. There and there, they're waiting for motors. And we have motor being produced. First one's probably gonna go in here. Something like that. Or not actually get extracted for some reason. Why not? Is that filter on this thing? Hmm. Something ain't working right. There we go. No idea. Alright, so yeah, that, that is being done. We have rings, we've got circuit boards, we have copper and all that stuff. Alright, now, while that's doing that thing, let's uh, see what I can do for about making some more uh, logistics drones. I can make two. Well. In that case, I actually still have to make one, another one of these. Alright, let me get this stuff together and we'll get this going and we'll call this an episode. Oh yeah, there we go. Got that extra thousand meters a second, just cruising along. What happens when we hit? Clang. Okay, after I think about two hours, I am finally done. I do have everything on me. I am currently making another 10 more drones, which will give me a total of 20. Uh, I don't know what the travel time is going to be on them, but they do tra transfer 200 at a time. So we are bringing in titanium. So I need a titanium logistics station. I need titanium going here. Uh, where was this feeding? This was feeding over there. So yeah, titanium is going to be fed into here. That's going to come off of splitter. Uh, what else do I need titanium for? I need it down here as well. For that. So. Good place for it. It'd be right over here. Alright. I'll we'll drop you down. Just like so. Get a nice big old container for you. You have established an interstellar logistics station. And opened the first node of logistics transportation among the planets. With it. No need to transport cargo between planets manually anymore. Just set to remote supply in the site on the raw material supply planet. The logistics vessel will bring the cargo to the other planets with corresponding remote demand sites accordingly. Setting local supply and demand can also inherit the functions of ordinary logistics station at the same time. Oh, interesting. So I can actually use uh, the uh, uh, the local planet drones as well. That is interesting. Alright, so uh, that is going to be this end, so I'm guessing I have to set this to demand as well. Remote supply, is that what he said? Ah, I think that's right. Alright, now let me go hit up Lisa 2 and we'll check it out. Okay, here we are. So, I think... I got the two mines over here and I got one down over here. Maybe. I'm also we should put it right in the middle here. Uh, do it like that. But then conveyor is going to be an issue, so put it right on the corner there. And then we will go get more conveyors. We're going to be running out of power here. Uh, do I have solar panels on me? I do not. I think I left them on another planet. Alright. Um, let me see. Where's the containers? Oh, yes, containers are here. We'll deal with this power situation in a second here. I could probably throw a whole bunch of turbines down. Alright, so let's go all the way over to here. And... 
I'm almost wondering if I want to start setting the silicone back too. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, apparently it worked. Alright. Well, let's find out as soon as brings everything out. Gotta put a sorter down. Uh, I gotta do the same thing. Well, not a sorter. Is that what it's called? Yes, sorter. Sorter, insert, machi uh, machine arm, the numerous things they've called them. But let me get this done and I'll be back. Okay, so I put a whole bunch of wind, uh, wind turbines down. I came up here to put a nice polar farm down. And I'm waiting and waiting and waiting. I was like, well, why is it not building it? You know, I thought maybe it had something to do with uh, the stone veins being in the way. And then after about a minute, I realized, oh yeah, it's because I flew up, went up to a high atmosphere and flew over here and my drones <laughs> don't catch up to me. But uh, we are generating. I'm slowly getting there. Uh, I think about... It was about 15 megawatts short. I believe this generates about 15 megawatts. Uh, I did look at the other pole and it seems... It almost seems like this side might get more sun. So I went down here and built it here. But uh, yeah, we are just about ready to do it. I definitely have to get more drones and faster drones. Especially if I want to build big things like this. But uh, that's actually one of the next things I want to start working on eventually is... Uh, Deuterium, because there is a deuterium power plant. I think it only, I think it generates like 15 megawatts, so it's actually pretty decent. Mind you, there's nothing wrong with free solar power. Free solar power. And uh, there we go. Now to figure out which is the best way to get to where I was. Well, straight across. So. All I gotta do is just go along here and, oh yeah, can't actually click and drag these. I was doing that with the wind turbines. Okay, good, that connects. So I will meet you at the other end. Okay, there we go. We are doing 98 megawatts now. Pretty good. Uh, that's just time of day right now, so we'll see how that holds up. Let's head back over to our elevator. Okay, so now, now we are ready to take in titanium, and, oh, okay, that's just an achievement for that, yay, I did something, alright, so now, you're going to be a remote supply, yes, and then I believe, I stick you guys in there. You should take off. Of course, it's gonna take a long time for all this to funnel. And now I'm thinking about it, maybe I should have. Oh, actually, I did. Now, what is going on with the other side here? Oh. That might help. Always gotta remember your sorters. Make sure you're actually pulling things out of your inventories. common mistake of mine and I'm sure it's a common mistake of many other people too and I did the same thing here too I was actually lacking on the uh, titanium production what do you know Ray now we should be having loads of titanium coming back It's actually a milestone for that. Look at that, you can actually watch him fly off. Oh, that's weird, I didn't know you can actually see the, see the planet from here. And off they go. Go follow them, see who gets there first. Like that, you can actually see the little drones flying off. Yeah, I actually travel pretty fast. Well, that's cool. This is going to come in very handy. You can follow them. I could have sworn I saw, like, the logistic stations here. I don't know what I was seeing. Oh, light coming off the clouds. And a rock in my face. And I can't fly because I need more power. 
All right, well, I'll meet at the station. I'll be back. Okay, well, actually, I'm not that far. I thought I'd get down real low for the grand reveal. My torso is to see through. Is that just like weird lighting? I think it's weird lighting. But I love how it just towers up over the horizon like that. Good timing, too, to watch a vessel take off. So now I'm wondering if, uh, if the ships at both ends are working. The remote demand is sending out, but these guys aren't going to pick up, as far as I know. Either way, we have titanium rolling in at an alarming rate. That means that the titan titanium alloy will keep rolling. Our research should be rolling along. Speaking of, uh, there it comes. And, most importantly, my gas will be recharged. And until then, the next fuel, which is going to be the deuterium fuel rods, and they, uh, they actually have a 300% fuel chamber generation. Oh, that's actually not too bad. But it's been a long one, so I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If it did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Later.